In today's video, I'm showing you how to console stream through a laptop PC for OBS, for Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. Plus, I'm gonna go over an absolute fix for that nagging bug where you can't console stream with your party chat. This is an absolute fix, 100% guarantee. I'm gonna make sure I put chapters down below. So if you got something, I'm going from start to finish on how to hook everything up, how to do everything in OBS. So if there's something you don't need to see or whatever, make sure you hit the chapters below. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so first things first, what do you need for this setup? Well, you need your console, of course. You need a laptop or a PC, and of course, a monitor or television, whatever you prefer. And you will need a capture card, HDMI capture card to USB. So what you wanna do is coming out of the Xbox, you're gonna go input on the capture card. So if you look on the front of it, you'll see input, output. Then you wanna come output and then go into your TV. See how that works? Out of the Xbox in to the capture card, out of the capture card, into the TV. And of course you take your USB and plug it up into a USB 3.0 or better. These are identified because they're usually different colors than the other USB slots on your PC. Simple enough, right? So that is the setup for this. Let's talk about mic real quick. So you will need two mics, one for your gaming, you're talking to, to your uh, people on the Xbox or your console itself, and then you need one for your OBS. Now you can use anything with a 3.5 millimeter jack or any type of of USB mic, anything that hooks up to your computer and you could use this quite literally like 20 bucks. You can hook it up to your PC and run it wherever and just kind of have it out of eyesight and hook it up and hang it on something and just turn the gain up and it'll capture you. Not the best sounding mic in the world, but for 20 bucks, it's a uh, nice start. And of course your gain volume for your just your game itself is picked up with the HDMI. The one thing that is not picked up is the game chat. So your chat volume, party chat or party chat on the game itself is not picked up. What you will need is uh, I'm trying to record a video. Stop. Stop. Thank you. So what you will need is a chat link cable. These things are like 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll make sure I post everything that I'm using here in a description below for any links you might need. So all you will need to do is gonna be a Y at the end and you'll plug the small end up into your controller. And then from there, you'll take the female, plug your headset up into it. And this quite literally, the other long end goes to the capture card that will have a mic audio jack on there for a 3.5 millimeter cable. Once you have that hooked up, you are good to go. Also guys, if you're using a chat link cable with a wired controller, and a wired headset because you have to use a wired headset for this to work you're possibly going to get a buzz like this if you get this this is because of how you have power and power going into each other you need a ground loop cable i actually made a quick like i think it's like a three minute video on this this is what it looks like right here i'm going to post a link in the description for the video and also put one right here in the box in the corner so if you have this buzzing or it just sounds like crap try this it's like eight bucks i made a video on how it works and how to hook it up and everything go check it out so from here we're gonna hop into the pc version of it see how it all works and get you ready to stream Let's go. All right, guys, we are to the next part of the video, which is what we need to do on the PC with the OPS Streamlabs and how to download it and set it up and all that good stuff. Before we get into it, though, make sure you smash that like button if you like the Sasuke and Naruto background, because you know you do. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing you're going to do is open an internet browser, go to uh, wherever you're using, type in OBS Streamlabs, and then click on Streamlabs OBS. And then you're just simply going to hit download here or here. Once it's downloaded, you will run it in the background and set it up from there. It's pretty self-explanatory. The next thing you wanna do is if you haven't done it already is make sure you have a Facebook page or a Twitch page or any of that stuff already set up, ready to go. Because if it's not set up and ready to go, that's something you pretty much need to do before we move on. With that being said, you wanna open your Streamlabs. This is something you should see kind of similar to this. I have a display capture here because I had to put it here. I'm gonna show you how to do all that here in a second. First thing we need to do when we open this though is come down here to the bottom left. You see the little gear icon settings you want to click on it and then you want to go to general 
excuse me, stream. And then from here, you can see stream destinations. You have three, Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. You would click, simply click connect, log in through your Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube, and it will connect to Streamlabs OBS and you can do everything from here. From here, we're gonna go back and then we're gonna start from our basic settings and what we need to do from here. Again, guys, before we start all this, remember this is a basic setup. If you want to see a like how to get scenes and all that good stuff, make sure you smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will be glad to go through all that with you. Now, let's get into how to add sources and what that really means. Real quick, I wanna show you how I have the camera right here and the display capture. What this means is whatever is on top, think of this as pages, whatever's on top is gonna dominate the screen. So the capture device is what you're looking at now, display capture, you're seeing everything you see is what that is. And I have the camera here. If I were to hit the eyeball right here, this eyeball is gonna let my camera be seen. If I hit it, you're not gonna see anything because it's the second page and it's so it's my camera is not the full, it's not full screen camera, it's in the corner, you won't see it. But if I were to take it and drag it up above display capture, you would see me pop up. So always make sure you have this above everything else, especially like if you're doing stream on your console to here, you wanna make sure you have your camera and then your Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you're streaming on. Now, how do you add your Xbox and PlayStation? How did I add this camera? You might ask, let's look at it right now. I'm gonna show you. So all you're gonna do to add, a, add your Xbox is hit the plus sign up here by sources. You're gonna come up here to a video capture device. You're not gonna do game capture because that game capture will be whatever you're capturing on your PC for a game. We're doing video capture device, which is the same thing I used for the camera capture. And I'm just uh, gonna change it instead. So I'm gonna do uh, add a new source instead. I'm just gonna change the name to Xbox because that's the best system in the world. And that's what I have. And we're gonna come up with this screen right here. Now you see that my face is still up there on the screen. What you wanna do is come down here to devices and click on it and you're gonna go find your your capture device you're using for your console. Mine in this case is named USB 3.0 capture. If I click on that, boom, the game comes up and I hit done. Now again, you can't see me because the Xbox is number one. What I wanna do is pull this camera above the Xbox. All you do is click and hold and pull above the Xbox and now you can see me. All right guys, there's another thing I wanna tell y'all real quick. Now, with the capture card, if you're using a next-gen console that uses 120 hertz, you cannot use 120 hertz if you're streaming with a 60 hertz capture card, because if you do, this is what's gonna happen. I'll just show it you real quick. So that's what happens. You have to have a hundred, or you have to either have a 120 hertz capture card, or you have to stream in a 60 hertz. But I just want to let y'all know that that way, if you you know you go and you start to set everything up and you have this on your screen, it is because you're in 120 hertz. You need to switch over your console to 100 and, or 260 hertz. And the, the way to do that is if you're at the home, just hit go home, go to settings, and then general, TV, and display options, and there you go. So that's just real quick, wanna tell y'all that. All right guys, we're back. I made a different shirt. It's a different day because I screwed up the video and well, I needed to redo it. So y'all don't get confused. I'm like what the flip are you doing, Pew? Anyway, so we're back here. What we're gonna do now, we showed you how to do everything up to like the video capture for the game. I wanna show y'all a quick tip on how to get like a full screen face for your, your stream. So like if you start your stream and you wanna start out with interacting with your audience and just sitting and chitting, chatting for a minute. So chitting and chatting. I didn't say the other one. I know it was close, but I didn't say it. But <laughs> you just, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna come into sources, add source again, video capture device, right? We're gonna add source. We're gonna name it something else. So we're gonna hit add new source instead. I'm gonna just name it full cam. You can name it whatever you like. And then we're gonna add source. All right, so you're gonna have everything pop up right here. I'm just gonna come down here and instead of device of vault, I wanna hit custom because I wanna make sure it says 1080. I have 1080, I wanna use 1080. And if you wanna, I have it set to 60, uh, but I, you realistically, I, I should be able to change this, but I think it's because I'm recording, I can't. Don't go, don't, 24 to 30. Uh, it's gonna look better if you do it that way. Then you're gonna see right here in a second. You have a full cam right here, and this is what it looks like. Now, I just wanna show you all this one real quick. You know, this is a little bit lower uh, FPS, and it looks better, right? Uh, now, I did mess with the color grading a little bit and everything, so that's why you see the colors pop and me 
faded on one side and stuff like that, just all color stuff. That's a different video for a different day if you want to see that. But again, this is just a simple setup. But see, you have both of these now, and let's just show you what it'll look like. So you'll be like this when you start out stream, right? You talk for a few minutes and everything, you're ready to get started. You just come here, and uh, we'll make sure the Xbox is up so you can see it too. And just hit the little eyeball on the, full cam, on the full cam, boom. And you're set up and you're ready to go in the background and you have everything ready to go. So again, remember you can place your camera wherever you want by clicking on it and moving it around, but we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna turn the Xbox off so you can see the settings so I don't screw up again. So we're gonna hit the eyeball there. And again, you know, you can just do this whenever. So you come back from a break or something and you wanna just chat for a second, someone asks a question, you get serious with them, eye to eye, you know what I mean? You can. So let's go, let's move out of this and let's get into the next thing, which is the. So over here to your right is your mixer. As you can see, you have an audio mixer right here or a slider for your audio. I have my mic hooked up. So say you have this hooked up and you don't see this going up and you're about to go live. Well, that's because your mic's not hooked up to the OBS. So it's super simple. You can just click on the little gear icon right there, go to properties and make sure you're in your device, you have your device set up. I'm using the Barracuda Razer X headset, which is the new headset that Razer put out for the PC, PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. It's a really good headset. I did a review on it. It's probably my favorite headset right now. I'll post a video right here if you haven't seen it just to check it out because it really is a pretty legit video. But anyways, you just click on your headset and hit done and then you should see it come up. If it's still not up, make sure you're not muted right here. And you don't see nothing going on. I was just talking you couldn't see it because I had it muted. This is a way that you can mute yourself. So also when you first start the stream and you just you're about to start but you're not ready to talk or anything, have that muted and then unmute it when you go live or when you start to talk and stuff. Now for the rest of these, your camera and stuff, you shouldn't have that none of that in there because you you know you have uh, your mic hooked up to this. No camera there. Now Xbox. This is the one thing you do need to know is. I'm gonna bring this up for a split second, the Xbox, just to show y'all. Xbox, and you can see how I'm moving and you don't hear nothing, right? And I'm still moving and you don't see the bar going up right here. Well, that's because I don't have the audio turned on through the capture card. So what we need to do is go into the gear icon again, same thing like you do for the headset or your mic for your headset, whatever. And you're gonna come down here to the bottom. You're gonna use custom audio device. You're gonna click on that. It's gonna bring up another thing. So you should be 3.0 capture device, just like that. So just make sure you have it in the USB 3.0. If you have that set up like that, click on done. Then if I hit a button on the Xbox, you'll hear it go up. And I'll just bring it up real quick so you can see it. And you hear audio through the Xbox now. Pretty good, pretty simple, right? So we'll turn that off, back to our settings. And last but not least, let's go over go live. So if we come down here to go live, click on it, you have everything pop up. This is where you can interact with everything to show what's going on and everything. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna title it, you know, so last thing, last time I went live, you see what it is. I'm not gonna change any of it. You can do whatever you want from here. And then make sure you have your Twitter. If you have a Twitter, make sure you have it linked. The reason being is it's gonna automatically upload a link to Twitter and if a friend, you have your friend and stuff make sure they just share it make sure you know people click on it this is an easy and a pro tip way for you to get views on while you're streaming with that being said all you have to do from here is hit confirm and go live and have fun and for the love of god hit the subscribe button if you got any kind of knowledge from this any kind of help from this hit the like button let me know in the comments below if you want to see another video on how to do more advanced features in this obs streamlabs settings and as always guys be safe until next time later